welcome back to Miss Ming's channel. In today's video, I want to show you what I eat in a week. Because we're in quarantine, I have to cook myself. But in this video, we're going to go through my week to see what I ate during the week and a lot of recipes. Are you ready? Let's get started! First thing in the morning is my morning coffee. I am so glad that I bought this Nespresso machine because now I can drink coffee latte at home. I don't know if I can survive without the coffee latte every single morning now that I cannot go to Starbucks anymore. And yes, I love to put a lot of milk in my coffee because I just love that creamy taste. Last week when I filmed this video, I still had my last loaf of bread. Yes, this is my favorite cranberry pistachio bread and I love to make avocado toast using this bread. And I know this avocado is super ripe. I also love to drink yogurt in the morning for protein and also for gut health. But this is my last week of supplies for yogurt and I just placed some order online from my favorite store HEB and they should be delivered in about two weeks. So for today, I'm thinking about eating Chipotle. This is leftovers from Brendan. Um, it was delivered really, really like Chipotle. Oh wow, it looks so healthy. I really love Chipotle. I really miss the time that we are able to go out to eat in the restaurants, even the fast foods and McDonald's and stuff. I know I can still order for deliveries and stuff, but I'm trying to decrease the contact with others. So yeah, this was an emergency <laughs> delivery and I could enjoy the rest of the food. I'm super happy. Well, I don't think Brendan eats as much as I do. I know it feels a little bit weird. And yes, I do eat more than Brendan. Ooh, looks so good. Okay, let's eat it in front of my computer. I know I said I shouldn't be eating in front of the computer, but I just can't help it. Like I have to do something when I eat, so I might as well just work. And also I'm burning this pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath & Body Works. This one smells so, so, so good. For dinner, I forgot to film my cooking, sorry guys. So I just stir fried some vegetables and also ate some leftover stewed beef. It tastes really good with rice. So this is a typical Chinese dinner. Alright, so now this is the second day. I am actually drinking a coffee from my old Keurig machine. Yes, Keurig, I haven't forgotten you. Okay, so actually the clip you're watching, this is actually my second coffee of the day. Usually in the morning, I always drink coffee with milk because I don't want to drink black coffee with empty stomach. But usually for the second coffee, either I put a little bit of milk or I just drink some black coffee and it tastes really good. For lunch, I decided to make some Brussels sprouts. I still have the rice and the beef from the leftovers, so I just need to add some more vegetables and make it a balanced meal. So we have white rice, Brussels sprouts, and also stewed beef. Did you notice that I had two different containers? Yeah, I made one for today's lunch and one for tomorrow's lunch. I love to snack a lot, so on this day, I try to eat two peaches for snack. I try to eat healthy snacks sometimes, but the other times I just eat chips and cookies. I think when I first started to work from home, I first started eating healthy, so my first week was really nice. Uh, other than eating fruits, I also ate like dried fruits such as the dried apricot. But then starting second week and third week in, I just stopped eating healthy and I snacked on popcorns and chips. All right, now let's cook dinner. For dinner, I'm gonna make some ribs. Yay, I got this one from the local grocery store when we still have food, of course. And um, we have potatoes. I love potatoes. And then we have corn. We're gonna put this into the ribs. And also we have this. This is the carrots. Actually, let's get some Napa cabbage as well. Go nap pack cabbage. First, we're gonna defrost this thingy a little bit in the sink.
For this particular recipe, I love to cut my potatoes into bigger chunks so that they don't melt when I'm stewing my After the oil gets heated, I just put some sugar and I mix the sugar with the oil. Usually with other types of oil, you can usually caramelize the sugar, but in, in the case of olive oil, it didn't really work. But still adding sugar to the oil is going to be helpful once you put the ribs in because it really adds flavor to the ribs. Alright, now let's put in the ribs. At this time, I love to put in the Chinese cooking wine. Adding different types of cooking wines actually add different tastes to the meat, so I love to use this particular brand for my Chinese cooking. But for beef, sometimes I do actually use red wines instead of the cooking wines. Alright, now let's add in my secret sauce from this particular brand. Make sure this is from the Lee Kong Wee brand and this is the brown meat bracing sauce. It tastes really really good. I usually add this one to my pork ribs. They taste amazing. And if you are buying different sauces from um, Chinese stores or Asian stores, um, just letting you know that different sauces are actually different and different brands actually make different types of sauce. For example, with soy sauce, there are some soy sauce that are cooked. There are also soy sauce that are raw. <laughs> So the raw soy sauce are actually used for cooking versus the cooked soy sauce is usually for dipping purposes, such as for sushi. So um, just try to ask an Asian friend for a recommendation because these different sauces, although they are all the same, but they are different. Alright, so the magic of sugar here in the sauce is that the sugar actually makes the sauce kind of sticky in a very thick consistency compared to the actual liquid sauce that's very liquidy. Once the meat is cooked, we can start to add in some vegetables and potatoes. Um, make sure that your meat is cooked so we're not overcooking the vegetables. I love to put potatoes and also carrots and also other types of vegetables such as mushrooms because the meat juice actually gets soaked into the vegetables. They make the vegetables taste really awesome. And then to avoid burning my vegetables, I put in some extra water so that the sauce is not too sticky and then I don't burn my stuff. And then I close the lid and cook the entire thing for another 30 minutes to 45 minutes. And then I love to break my corn into smaller chunks. Yes, I do love to cook my corn into my meat juice so that my corn gets a lot of meat flavor. I know. Similarly, I also cut up some Napa cabbage. And yes, this is the last Napa cabbage that we have and they're not available for delivery. And then I put in the corns and also the Napa cabbage because they take the least time to cook so I don't want to overcook them by putting them too forehand. And then I put on the lid, cook until it's ready. At the end, the ribs should be really soft. I usually drink two caffeinated drinks every day. In the morning, I always have my morning coffee or morning latte. But for my second caffeinated drink, sometimes I drink tea instead. For this particular day, I decided to drink the tropical green tea from the London Tea Company. It's actually my favorite flavor, but I just found out that I cannot buy them anymore from Amazon. They're out of stock, so I was crying for a little bit. This green tea tastes really good. It has some sort of citrusy type of taste. I really like that instead of peppermint green tea. And yes, I try to meal prep for every day. So basically, I cook every other day because the next day I can eat the leftovers from the previous day, which saves a lot of time for cooking.
Another great breakfast option that I absolutely love is making a smoothie. I love to put mangoes into the smoothie and also other berries, such as blueberries in this case. And I also love to put some greens and some sort of protein in my smoothie so it's healthy and with all the nutrients. Another great tea option that I absolutely love is this special mango tea I got from the Republic of Tea. Okay, I bought this one from the World Market. I discovered this tea in Panera Bread. I, it was so good. So I went online and I looked for it. I couldn't find any at first. And then one time I was actually shopping in Arizona and I found it in the World Market there. So I bought two boxes, one for me, one for my professor who loves tea as well. Just like every other Asian, I love eating rice. If you haven't tried a rice cooker, I highly recommend. Definitely make my life so much easier. All right guys, today we're gonna make Chinese eggplant. Yay, those are the slim, slender eggplants. Some people call them Japanese eggplants. Sometimes, some people call it Asian eggplants, Chinese eggplants. So basically these are the Asian eggplants that taste better. It doesn't have the bitter taste and also the peels are actually not as, I don't know, it's not as thick. Okay, so let's cut them up. Okay, so to cut the eggplants, we have eggplants and then we're gonna have some potatoes as well. Previously, I pre-cut some potatoes and put them into the water so that the potatoes, they don't get oxidized, so they stay this color. So we're gonna first put the potatoes and then we're gonna put the eggplants. Once the potatoes have golden colors, I put in the eggplants. I cook the potatoes first because they require longer time to cook and I don't want to super overcook my eggplants because they do shrink. Alright, does this bottle look familiar to you? Yes, this is the sauce that we used for cooking the ribs. I love it so much so I use it for a lot of the items that I cook. The citron peppercorn. Just a little bit, don't put too much. Just very little. And also some hot oil. You don't have to put hot oil, but I love spicy food. So, some hot oil right there. Right there, right there. It looks too spicy. Maybe I put too much hot oil, but it tastes really good. I like it. for two minutes, two minutes. All right guys, now the potatoes are cooked. We're gonna put some shrimp. I previously froze some shrimp and they're already cooked. So we're gonna put in the shrimp. Ha 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 ha. Let's defrost it. Well, ideally you should defrost it before, but I was working, so I didn't really think about that. So, but that's okay. Eat it a little bit. It's gonna taste so good. Okay, I think it's so okay. No, it's still frozen. Uh, so okay. Let's break the freeze. That's a lot of shrimp, guys. That's a lot of shrimp. Uh, uh, uh. I should have defrosted them. I know. I know. Yay! We broke it. Okay, so we're gonna put it. Put a lid on another two minutes and they should be ready. Okay, this looks good with jalapeno, cilantro, green onions, shrimp, eggplant, and potatoes. I think they're pretty good. They look pretty cooked, healthy, and delicious. Okay, let's dish them. 
Let's dish it! Looks good. So this is a typical Asian household dinner item. Okay, let's eat! And another morning and another morning coffee latte. The next day, I made some Asian whole mung bean soup. Actually, in Chinese, we call this green bean, but just in case you mistaken this with the regular vegetable green beans, it's not. It's just a bean, so we call it mung bean. Okay, so I just used the slow cooker and I put a lot of these beans, actually I put the whole bag into the slow cooker, and then I put in the water and after two to three hours, they are ready. So they basically, they're like bean soup, or bean kanji, whatever you think it is. I know, it feels a little bit weird because it's not a regular American concept. But this mung bean is really, really healthy. It has a lot of protein and a lot of fiber and, and also a little bit of fat. It's finally the weekend, and usually on weekend, Brandon will make me my morning coffee and give it to me in bed. Maybe because I've been cooking a lot of food for him and he felt like he needs to do something in return, he made me breakfast in bed. So I had two eggs, a lot of potatoes, and also with my favorite tiger sauce. Yes, I like everything to be spicy, including the breakfast. Today's dinner, ta-da! I got the Chinese noodle. This one, let me show you what this is made of. Ta-da! So, yeah. So basically these are made of these, but if you ever bought these, make sure you uh, put them into water. So basically, um, see you see that like one bag has only a little, but after they soaked into the water, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of noodles. And this is only a quarter of what this bag can make. So definitely don't make too much. Quarter of this bag can actually feed a person or two. So yeah, if you ever buy these, this is the bag and this is the end product. So first you need to soak them into the water for hours. And then we have the ta -da! shrimp salad. Looks good. Ta -da! Dinner, yeah. Looks good. So I mixed the noodles with the shrimp salad together and that completes the meal. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and also comment down below what have you been eating during this quarantine life and what have you cooked and you know, what type of food you're eating so we can inspire each other in our home cooking or eating type of life. All right, that's it for today. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the the notification bell. I will see you in my next video. Bye!